It's good practice to review any policy, um, and we haven't reviewed ours at several last, for the last what, three or four years, so it's produced for some updates. Um, we are also updating our, our standards on criminal convictions, so we are trying to, to reflect current national best practice so that we are clear in saying that any potential driver who has serious criminal convictions shouldn't be licensed as a taxi driver and be able to transport vulnerable members of the public around in, 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 in taxis. The knowledge test will apply to all new applicants, um, so it applies to anyone who, who is coming in as of the date it's agreed. But in terms of the other standards that we're proposing, that will apply, apply to every every license holder across the uh, across the district. Most of the proposed changes have been met positively by the by the trade. Um, there are a our proposed changes to our penalty point scheme, which make brings in sort of tougher sanctions on, on drivers who, who break the rules. Those changes are have met with some questions, um, but as I say, we are in, in the period of consultation at the moment and all responses will be are welcome. So we encourage all drivers, if they've got any positive or, or, concern, or other concerns about the policy, to, uh, to contact us with, it, with their feedback. And ultimately, the, the Council's Licensing Committee will, will decide on, on what changes we're to, to bring in. We're getting a lot of customers that's getting into the car and cannot understand what the fine drivers are saying. So the drivers are asking just for a postcode. Or, um, and if they haven't got their sat navs set up right, they could be taking the customer way out of their way, which is going to cost them a lot more money. The uh, licensing officers, East Hans City Council, have got their act into gear now where if anybody wants to apply for a license, they have to do a knowledge test. And as far as my association is concerned, they should know at least a 10 mile radius of pizza in the evenings. Um, a lot of the drivers will not accept short runs. Now, as far as I'm concerned, uh, all the time my wheels are turning, I am earning. Um, but a lot of drivers will turn around and say, no, you walk. So the council now are going to bring in what we call a sleeping chopper. So that uh, if they go up to a driver and they want to go from this railway station, say, to the Premier Inn, um, and the driver refuses, then the, sleeper, the, the secret shopper can then say, here's my pass from the council, and we've got you now, you've refused the job. So then that allows them, the council, to give them points or bring that person up in front of the licensing committee.